Will we get our first winner in Mini X30 whose name isn't Vinnie Phillips in the next 15 minutes? Three wins out of three so far for the driver of the number 87 Fusion Motorsport Kart. And top it all off, he won both heat races this morning. But uh, Leo Robinson, I can see, I think will be starting from pole position. So I'm not quite sure what happened there or why we've got that situation. But I mean, it's an all Fusion front row. There is a view of turn number two, the complex here at Mansell Raceway. And you can just see there the height of the curves. They're flat topped, but uh, very high indeed. And uh, there is a look at Leo Roberts. You can see the Algerian flag on his uh, car. So his uh, dad's English, his mum's Algerian. He's uh, been in touch with the Algerian Motorsport Association, who are taking a great interest in this young man, as well they should. And he is there on the inside of row one. So pole position, I think, for Leo Robinson. Uh, starting third will be the GP play holder, new team, Mark Mitchfield Racing uh, for Ethan Simmons. Uh, this week, and again, the uh, Fluoro Comp Cart chassis. Uh, start the third, fifth on the grid there is Jack Hobson, the privateer driver for the Mad Croc team. Oh no, he's actually one of the Croc promotion drivers. He's looking up there because there's a, an, an aircraft flying overhead. There's a flight score here, uh, and so they just say a flight score is a, a, a skydiving training center here. So they've been launching people out of planes all morning. And there is another one of the Fusion drivers. That is the number 28 cart of Ella Stevens. Ella, who is fourth in the championship. A little bit further back here is one of the MLC carts. That is the MLC Motorsport cart of Joe Rippin. And Joseph Rippin is battling with Hayden Eldridge in the, cha in the, the championship for the honor of being top rookie. Just uh, seven points separated them at the start of today. And there is Lewis Bird in cart number 44. Now, Lewis uh, had an off in his first heat race uh, at the end of Hangar Bend and uh, decided to investigate the barriers earlier on at the back of the inside row of the grid driving for Fusion Motorsport. That would be Wesley Swain in cart number 92. Now, we move over to the outside row of the grid. As, uh, this is James, James, our cameraman, having a good lesson in running backwards, holding expensive camera equipment. There's your championship leader. Three wins out of three for Vinnie Phillips so far. Big grin from Vincent. Good to see. Now, can he make it four out of four? And uh, his win at Kim Bolton was especially uh, uh, good for him because his uh, mechanic, his old mechanic, Danny Porter, was back in the paddock after a brief layoff. Um, very fast driver is Danny Porter. I've, I've read the newspaper reports. Uh, then it is uh, Gabriel Stilp. Uh, in the number 10 croc promotion cart gabriel still looking for that first win as are everyone else this season but he's been an ever-present threat on the podium in that number 10 cart now there rylan eschberg uh, same croc mad croc cart but he's a privateer driver looking down focused doesn't want to say hi to the camera he's just deep in thought i had a thought once anthony don't do that that's dangerous only once there's hayden eldridge uh, he, he, he drives uh, the number 41 car for the BMR team on the Zenon chassis. He's the leading rookie in the championship at the moment. And there is number 66, Freddie Allen for Cato Motorsport, another of our rookies. Further back there, there's Charlie Webb, precision racing driver for uh, precision racing driver for precision racing standards, you know, on the Xperit chassis. We're having car number 24. And uh, oh, that's, is that Baumforth Transport, one of the sponsors there? I used to race against the endurance team called Balfourth Transport. In fact, in fact, I bought a, I, I bought my cart my, my team's cart van from Balfourth. Oh. I say bought. I traded two sets of cart tires. Oh, I thought you just said you for stole a van. Stole it, stole no, no, no. It. I, tra <laughs> no, I, I traded two sets of cart tires for a van. Or did you pick the van up, leave two sets of cart tires no, no, to an a, unsuspecting it, team? No, no, it was, it was a fair, it was a fair, <laughs> it was a fair deal. You should have seen the van. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it last. Hey, it got us to land down at the national raceway. The Homer champions, uh, many many occasions. Oh, okay, many occasions. Sometimes I just once. <laughs> some, no, sometimes without the aid of the AA. Oh, there you go. There, yeah. plus in its own right. There, look at that beautiful blue sky here for our finals today. And it's uh, it's been a fantastic weather of weekend. Yesterday, it was a bit chilly. It was yeah. a bit windy, yeah, both so outside and in the commentary box. Yes. Um, but that was just because I had too many fizzy drinks. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> too many. Too many Vimtos. Yeah. <laughs> Other 
fruit-based uh, beverages uh, 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 are available. Uh, uh, <laughs> carbonated fruit-based <laughs> beverages are available. <laughs> but uh, there's a look at the grid. So, Mini X did again. So we've had so Leo Robinson in, in the last race, Anthony. You saw him get. He, he led from the start. Yep. Vinny Phillips got past him. He didn't defend against his teammates, and then the second half of the race, Vinny just didn't give him an opportunity to come back at him. Mm. This is the final now. It's a much longer race, but if Robinson does get in front, he is going to have to keep that door firmly closed on Phillips because at the moment, Vinny Phillips is waltz, waltzing away with the Mini X30 Championship. He is indeed. And, uh, I'm going to put my, I think... In terms of money on a driver, on you're going to put one, your two penneth in. I'm going to put my two penneth on Gabriel Stipp. Oh, are well, you now? Okay. He's been looking quick all weekend. He's just waiting for that bit of a gap. Yes. To send that car down the inside, and I yeah. feel that gap is going to a, a, well, yes, appear. Yeah. Appear. Somehow. Now you're not not going to even think about you know mentioning that the gap will appear because maybe a couple of cars in front of them might get no, another no, 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 far be it from, but that's a, that's a, it's a bold, it's a bold statement to make, Mr. Jordan. Yes, my two penneth have been placed. Placed, indeed. Here we go, here's a rundown, the full starting lineup for the Mini X30 final, Leo Robinson and Vinnie Phillips on row number one, Ethan Simmons and... Tip to the stars, Gabriel Stilp on row two, Jack Hobson and Ryland Eschberg on row number three. Row number four, Ella Stevens on the 28, and then Hayden Eldridge alongside the BMR. There's Rippin and Freddie Allen on the fifth. Then on sixth row, Charlie Webb and Lewis Bird. Rounding up the field, Wesley Swain in cart number 92. Two rolling laps, 15 minutes, plus a lap of Mini X30 hijinks here at the Mansell Raceway. And have a look at that. You know, every single blade of grass is perfectly manicured, I have to say. And uh, it's, it's like some, it's like somehow it's how somebody used to manicure their moustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah so there it is, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. And hey. the barriers, you know, the red, white and blue of the UK, but also yeah. a certain... Uh, Red 5, his crash helmet was red, white, and blue. Indeed, yes. Now, I have to say that uh, this very, very plush uh, restaurant area here, the, mm. he's got lots of uh, pictures of, his, of Nigel's uh, Formula 1, uh, Formula one uh, days. Not one of him winning the Welsh Charting Championships back in 1970 and 210 National, which I'm very disappointed about. And what track was that at? That was at Landham International Raceway, global home of World Motorsport, birthplace of champions, as proven by <laughs> Nigel winning there. There we are. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got it in. Right. Shoehorned <laughs> it in. Let's see how this race goes. 15 minutes. Race number 14 on your programme. Lights are out. We're off and racing. It's a good start from Neil Robinson. Here comes Gabriel Stubby. Almost spotted that gap early, Anthony. But then the door gets closed. He loses a couple of places. But Ethan Simmons up into P2. Leo Robinson leads. Championship leader Vinnie Phillips down to third as they come through the complex on lap number one. A very clean start then from the entirety of the grid. A good look over the shoulder there from the GP plate of Ethan Simmons as they dive down in towards turn four as the rest of the field follows. Again, no real side-by-side -side action that we've seen on this first lap. Everyone keeping it nice and tame, nice and clean, which is what we like to see as they exit turn number five, enter the complex section of the, uh, the hangar bend. Yeah, and so Ethan Simmons, he, was, he, he went off, you know, he went off well in the second heat but then had a, an issue halfway around the first lap but I mean he was on that start like a tramp on chips was Ethan Simmons uh, he's up the second here comes Gabriel Stop now recovering he passes Ella Stevens for fourth place already the top three are clear but now Vinnie Phillips he looks to the inside of Simmons and uh, he gets the where well, he gets one of the two obstacles in front of him out of the way early can Simmons fight back Robinson was going to try and make hay while the sun shine there while Phillips wasn't directly behind him Robinson was going to try and pull away now Phillips is there in P2 and I, I just from I mean you know I'm just a commentator I'm just here to try and talk about it but if I was Leo Robinson now I would think to myself I don't care if there's 40 to 13 and a half minutes to go I am going to have to defend Mr. Phillips thou shalt not pass yes the reference as they uh, head through then the final corner, dog's leg, a very tricky, fast chicane. Again, watching those curbs. We've seen some of the drivers hitting them, but not these. they staying very well clear, as we can see. Still under pressure from Stevens as they go through, but eyes on the top three. And then 
this next big group of carts all filtering through the complex onto the mini straight then into the braking zone of turn number four robinson still leading from phillips and of course the, the, the more that the more that robinson sort of like sort of half defends and sort of keeps yeah. the pace a little bit slower than he could that means that ethan simmons isn't going to get dropped ethan simmons is going to still be there and he could then interject himself into proceedings because if uh, robinson and phillips go then simmons i have to be fair to him he's been quick at the start but over a race distance ethan hasn't been able to match the two fusion drivers the pace over the course of a full race and this is an even longer race 15 minutes plus a lap you were very uh, astute in your observations in the last one anthony when you're saying that oliver greenall uh, was he set the pressures lower which means he was under pressure at the start of the race but he knew the tires had come on as the race progressed and uh, he confirmed that in it when he spoke to you i wonder if uh, it's the same difference in tire pressure between the two fusion drivers still now trying to pull away from ella stevens jack hobson is the second of those uh, sort of gray white and red Mad Crop chassis in fifth position. So I make that. Yeah, fifth position. Eschberg is next. Swain, Eldridge, Rippin, Wed, Bird, and Allen. That's the remaining runners. And the top three have got that gap. Gabriel still has got to get his head down. And you saw there, Leo Robinson was a little bit tighter coming into dogleg, which means he's a little bit defensive. He is uh, under pressure now from Vinnie Phillips. But uh, already you've, see, you've seen Leo Robinson being a little bit more defensive and uh, they're again into the complex just h hugging the middle of the circuit now Phillips is going to get a good crossover run but I think we're going to see uh, Robinson just hug move to the inside a little bit going into turn number four so Phillips yeah, there is an earlier turn in for Robinson so that Phillips can't think about making a lunge and that is keeping Ethan Simmons within striking distance despite the fact that he is turning in a little bit earlier through some of these corners he did see Leo Robinson, fastest lap of the race still though. So despite those little minor adjustments that we're seeing going into some of these corners, it's still working. It's still getting those quick times in, still keeping that pace up. As you can see there, dipping his head, just trying to get that momentum. Uh, you know, not that uh, head uh, yeah. punch forward would, uh, <laughs> there we go, <laughs> bobbing the head forward. Bobbing the head down, would, uh, just so they try and get the helmet behind the NASA panel, yeah. just to get that little bit of airflow. You can see they've got the new style NASA panels on these carts, which has got sort of like a drain pipe sort of shape up the middle behind the number. So the air goes up there, and if they duck down, the air then goes off the top of their crash helmet. It might give them a thousandth of a second, but hey, it's every thousandth counts. Yes, every little helps. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a TV commercial, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it still is. Back in the day, uh, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it still is. Uh, ten minutes then on the clock, then five minutes have gone down. And uh, we take your mind off food shopping yes. for a brief moment, Henry. Well, that will concentrate on the race. Yeah, you had lunch. <laughs> I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need lunch. Here we go. So, Vinnie Phillips now in Robinson Slipstream. Simmons is there as well. Can Phillips slide out underneath braking going into turn one? No, he cannot. Still, still there in fourth place. Hobson has passed Stevens for fifth. And again, Robinson, you can see him just slide into the inside of the track there. Less than 10 minutes to go. Phillips, though, fast lap of the race, 48.74 seconds. He is going to literally be sat on the rear bump of the race leader before too long. And uh, there's nothing that uh, still in cart 10, Eldry, uh, Jobson in cart 14, and Stevens in cart 28 can do to catch them. There's Ashberg in the, 20, in the 73, followed by Swain in the 92 and Eldridge in the 41. Yep, I, uh, my two punter still is well placed. I yep. suspect there's plenty of time. Nine minutes left on the clock. A lot of time. To go. Lot of time in a karting race. That's a year. That's, uh, yes. It's a century. Uh, oh, right change the lead. Phillips made it stick, coming down the start, finish straight. Robinson coming back at batting him, back at him. Phillips had made the move stick before he got to the apex of turn number one, which means that I think that Robinson may have clipped that curb coming off the final corner and uh, unsettled the cart, Phillips was able to go through and get the move done before turn number one. So here we go. Now, this is what Robinson, this is what Robinson couldn't do in the previous race, it's what he's got to do now, and that is fight back. Yeah, definitely. So, oh! oh, and a spin in the background there. That was Ryan That's and 73, yep. Ryan and Eschberg there, disaster in the final. And uh, yeah, a huge shame for the young driver now. Uh, looks like he's okay back on to the top three and like we say Phillips now leading from Robson or Robinson yeah. Robinson refusing to be squashed in this one yes oh dear, oh dear. sorry oh dear <laughs> it's a very good one though I'll give you that uh, Simmons though holding on in that GP plate 
in third place, not falling back at all. Now, there's still a little bit of fresh air, trying to pull away in terms of lap times. Fraction off the pace of what the top three are doing, but only a fraction. Yeah, but he just did his personal best lap of the race, as Gabriel still a 48.86. So his cart is the best it's been all race, but it's only a fraction quicker than the three leaders. Now, can Robinson fight back? It's the 87 of Phillips with the predominantly white crash helmet with orange flex on it. Uh, Robinson behind him with the predominantly orange crash helmet. Can he look to the inside? No. Simmons is right there as well. Yeah. It was, you could see that Phillips hit the curb on the exit of the final corner, and he thought, like you say, that looked like it was going to be a lunge down the inside of turn one. Mm. We didn't see it, though, and is that because Simmons is right there in third place, and these two are trying to pull away, and they just can't? Well, I mean, if, if, if Robinson had gone for a move to the inside going into turn number one and got alongside Phillips, then Simmons is so close, he could have squeezed Phillips a little bit out wide, and Phillips yep. might have lost two places. But uh, it's it's... You know, it's so, so close between, of course, identical chassis. They're both on an experienced chassis. They're all on the Army X30 engines, but, I mean, they run for the same team, so they've got data sharing, which means that they're going to be, the carts going to be very, very similar. Now we look to the inside. No, Phillips isn't defending. He takes a very wide entrance to the first turn and a wide exit as well. And still, Robinson's not able to duck out from the slipstream. But he's, oh, they almost... He's almost in the cart with him, coming out of uh, the complex there. And Simmons watching. Six and a half minutes to go. We're on lap number 11. This race, we've got a lot of life left in it. And Gabriel Stelp was 2.7 seconds behind the lead. He's now 2.6. He's inching, inching up is Gabriel in the number 10 cart. But he is going to need the top three to start battling to close that gap fully. Uh, behind still, it's Hobson fourth, uh, Hobson fifth rather, Stephen sixth, Webb seventh, El Eldridge eighth, Swain ninth, Bird tenth, Rippet eleventh, Allen twelfth, Ashberg thirteenth. All thirteen drivers still running. Here's a look at Hayden Eldridge coming through the uh, dog leg, just in front of the number 92 of Wes Swain, eighth and ninth. But uh, up front, Phillips, just a fraction, just a fraction in front of his teammate Robinson, less than a tenth as things stand. Five and a half minutes to go. Things still bubbling up nicely. Yes, indeed. 11 laps completed for Vinnie Phillips and the rest of the field. We're on lap 12. We head through, like I say, five and a half minutes left on the clock. Still very close between our top three. And the three tenths of a second as they just zoom into shot there. They're going around the final corner back onto the start finish straight to complete lap 12. 13 now underway as uh, they're still nose to tail no real moves going on yet and I suspect again it's just they're just waiting for those last laps to come in we saw it earlier on in the day where it wasn't going to happen on the last lap it happened on the lap before he got past the second place then tried to get past first place but it, it failed so hopefully we're going to see it in this time around but like I say those top three still nose to tail and all eyes watching yeah, so uh, out of turn number five, now through the corridor, down towards turn six, Vinnie Phillips, that's bad news for everybody else. Good news for Vinnie Phillips, he sets the fastest lap of the race, but still Robinson going with him. There's a little bit of daylight appearing now between Robinson in second and Simmons in third. Simmons is going to try and hang on to the slipstream here. Uh, let's have a look. Still no move from Robinson going into pit bend. No, they have stayed nose to tail there, haven't they? It's... Uh... I'm amazed at how well Phillips is doing, despite the fact that he looks like he's got quite a clear visor on, and this sunlight is very bright and in the eyes yeah, through some know, of these tight, it, twisty sections. Yeah, so in the end, getting towards the end of September now, where even though it's only, what, half, uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, the sun is beginning to sort of get a little lower in the sky, and as you, if you can, from the camera, if you can see directly in through the driver's clear visor, that means the sun is shining directly into their faces. And, uh, oh, now, Phillips a little bit wide through Hangar Bend. That's the first missed apex we've seen from Vinnie Phillips. Robinson is there. Can he get a good run out of this corner here? But, no, again, Phillips really good on egg corner exit. Here comes Robinson, though. He's now in the slipstream. No, he can't make the move into turn number one this time. 
Looked like a little bit of front to rear contact between the two fusion drivers as well. He could just see under braking, he saw Phillips head go backwards like it was uh, accelerated again from a, a little tap from Robinson. Just, yeah. uh, and not enough to get past, but enough to definitely push him a little bit wider the exit of turn one. A look over the shoulder from Vinnie Phillips just to see where he is. And again, a defensive line in turn number five. That's the first time I've seen Vinnie Phillips defend. And that was he was he held the middle line of the track. He didn't swing out wide to go into turn number five. He held the middle. So Robinson, this is going to be a well, it's going to be a decent lap from Robinson. He's not a great lap from Phillips. And I'm looking at the sector times. And yeah, no, Vinnie Phillips not pulling in particularly impressive sectors on this lap. But a bit wide to the middle. But again, now another check over the shoulder. Are we going to see it this time from Robinson? Are we so close? Not yet. No, he's still not looking for that. He's, he's looking at the time. It's still two and a half minutes left on that timer. Still waiting for that gap, but it's slightly defensive there. Goes Phillips. Robinson tries to get the switchback move there. Ethan Simmons uh, with the fastest lap of the race. The GP play in third place behind. Closing that gap now. That daylight has soon turned tonight. There's no gap between those two now as they head out of turn number five through six into the corridor. Again, no moves down the inside. We've not seen any moves here, apart from the two potential ones that we may have seen. Uh, missed earlier on, but two minutes left on the timer into the final corner now Again, yeah, everyone just looking like nose to tail Yeah, and Vinnie Phillips every single time it looks as though I mean, he might just be his particular line But he, coming through dogleg the middle part of that of that complex it always looked like he's, he's a little bit wider than Robinson And now Robinson looks to the inside. No, that's the most cons that was a half a glance It was that wasn't a, it wasn't a full look it was a preliminary investigation, I think that was. <laughs> but it, we saw that now on the, the, the last lap, Simmons closed right back up, and he's going to stay there now because uh, Phillips is sort of not driving full defensive mode, but he is semi-defending. He is indeed, and uh, with 90 seconds left on the timer, or less than 90 seconds, it's nearing the end of this final for the Mini X30. And you can just see Simmons there ducking his head in, just trying everything he can to get through. And as you say there, Phillips again slightly wide at the second part of the chicane. So go into turn one. Okay, no move. Here's a look further back as well. This is Stilt and Hobson as they head through turn number one. The two crop promotion drivers as they're going through, working together again, trying yeah. to close up. But I just don't think there's enough time. All eyes are going to be focused on these front, uh, front three as they head through 17 laps completed we're on lap 18 and the last lap board is probably not going to come out this time no we're getting closer and i've got to say that i know we're focusing on the top three but still is fourth try i mean outstanding performance so far from number 14 uh, jack hobson this is i mean obviously he's right with his teammate uh, all the way through it's the first time this season that i've really seen jack hobson sort of match gabriel still pace for pace and uh, up at the front top three go through there is uh, still in fourth and hobson in fifth Hobson following his teammate. Great job there. Oh, and there was the, a, a real defensive move there from Philip. Robinson had a half glance. So if, the, if that was a preliminary investigation, he certainly knocked the door twice there. Just to say, I'm, uh, I'm there and I'm going to be coming through shortly if you'll let me. And uh, Simmons is right there in third place. But So for the first time, the clock strikes zero. Now Phillips defends. And it's full-on defensive mode now. White line city for Vinnie Phillips going into turn number five. Simmons is going to get a good run. A little bit of bumping and boring going out there as they sort of trip over each other under braking. But uh, Robinson is uh, stating his claim with a, a certain degree of conviction now. Yep, and this is, well, again, you've seen it there. There was a little bit of squabbling between Phillips and Roberts first time. Uh, then that caused, uh, that caused Simmons to then close up. And now Simmons and Robinson are starting to score, and that's allowing Phillips to break away again. Phillips goes defensive. Simmons, uh, Simmons taking the optimal line again as well behind Philip uh, Robinson as they go through. And again, just all eyes on these three. It's just hard to tell who's going to come out on top on this one. It is final lap, though. Yep, into a mini straight, into turn number four. And Phillips has got a gap there, so he's safe through turn number four. Robinson is going to have to do something pretty special now. Phillips again defends into turn number five. That's not going to be a great exit speed for Robinson. In fact, I think that might have given Vinnie Phillips the gap he needs to take the victory through the corridor. Phillips has got a five, six cart length, no, three or four cart length lead. And Robinson there runs a little bit wider. Simeon's, uh, Ethan Simmons makes his move. Under breaking for Hanger. Great, that's the first really clean move we've seen at that corner. But Vinnie Phillips comes out to the final turn. Four wins, four races for Vinnie Phillips. Ethan Simmons takes second, Leo Robinson third, but Anthony, he had a real go at the end of that one. Uh, 
did Leo Robinson. He, he gave Vinnie Phillips all he could handle, but Vinnie Phillips, as he's done all season, had all the answers. He did indeed. Well, I'm going to take this headset off and I'm going to run oh, down yes, and yes. chat to our winning drivers. So uh, I'll leave so the commentary box with your capable hands. Well, well, that's a dangerous thing to do. So while Anthony goes down to uh, get himself ready to speak to the victorious Vinnie Phillips, it gives me a chance to run through the full list of results from the mini provisional results from the mini X30 final. And it was Vinnie Phillips winning by four tenths of a second over Ethan Simmons. Leo Robinson takes third place. Gabriel Stilt finishes fourth. Jack Hobson, great result for Jack in fifth. Ella Stevens takes home sixth position. Charlie Webb in seventh. Wes Swain in eighth. Hayden Eldridge in ninth. And Lewis Bird completing the top ten. Joseph Rippin, Rylan Eschberg, and Freddie Allen are your remaining finishers. And there, into scrutineering, go the number 86 cart of Vinnie Phillips. And. Uh, behind the Robinson and uh, so Ethan Simmons that's his best result of the season uh, of, the, of the British Championship for the GP plate holder as there is uh, Billy Phillips a big kind of face oh, he looks worn out of that one he sh so he can't shake hands he, that's the instinct of every driver they give his mechanic a high five but uh, you know sadly sadly rules don't allow it but uh, you know Billy Phillips he was Normally you see a big, big grin from Vinny at the end of a race, but I think the fact that he didn't means the fact that he worked very, very hard in that one. He's probably a little bit tuckered out at the moment. So uh, an excellent fall. And of course, that there, the corner you're looking at there, uh, that's where Simmons sort of eased Leo Robinson a little bit wide in the final lap. And he took second position. And uh, so Robinson, well, you know, in the second heat, he finished second, but didn't try and pass. Well, he didn't even try and pass. He didn't sort of have a go, have a real go at the race leader. Then he finished third, but he really did. He, he asked a lot of questions from Vinnie Phillips and made a couple of really concerted efforts, but it just wasn't meant to be this time for Leo Robinson. Four wins out of four for his Fusion Motorsport teammate, Vinnie Phillips. And uh, before long, going to hear from Vinny Phillips down at the end of pit lane. We've got about 10 minutes to go before the start of the next final, which will be uh, for Cadet Honda. And while we uh, wait for Vinny and Vinny and Anthony George to organise themselves, just gives me a big opportunity once again to say that you're watching the Motorsport UK British Car Championship presentation courtesy of Alpha Live and Demon Tweaks. Without further ado, Anthony Jordan, are you got a winning Mini X30 driver down there? Three, two, one. Well, an exciting end to that race indeed, but our race winner and championship leader still, Vinnie Phillips, a fantastic racer that one. It looked a little bit touch and go at the end of that one. Yeah, it was. Um hard race everyone works well in the team um yeah we worked well with leo um managed to get away top um the top three went away me leo and ethan um yeah it was a good race no, it was fantastic i say at the start it looked like you were breaking away or uh, you know piling on the pressure to leo uh, but he, he gave you a good run back didn't he working well as a team together and of course i'm sure the relationship's good in the tent as well yeah the relationship's good in the tent we're just working on the points at the moment we don't have to win every race, but obviously we have so far. And I'd like to thank Joe for getting the cart ready and make sure it's getting the win and stuff. And I'd like to thank T4 to get the from getting the data ready. And yeah, Holy Fusion for the support. Yeah, excellent stuff. Well, again, congratulations on the race win on this one. Um, I do want to have a quick chat though with Leo Robinson because it was the best attempt that we saw from him, uh, an overtake on Vinny. Uh, Leo, again. A very close race. You were leading for most of it at the start, and of course, at the end there, you really tried your best to get past Vinny. Uh, just talk us through your mindset at the end of that one. Uh, yeah. Well, at, at the end when Vinny got past, it was really annoying because because oh, I did I did we didn't really have the bottom, so it was quite hard to catch off the bottom. 
Yeah, and I say with that, we, we saw in the previous race, it was saying tyre pressures were a key factor with the Fusion team. We, have you done anything different with the tyre pressures going into this final? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> You don't think so? Well, you need to ask your mechanic, don't you? You need to see. He's, he's there working on the car. So, yeah, no, but a fantastic win. Uh, so, you know, second place in that one. Uh, fantastic ever from you. Yeah. Spot on. Cheers. Well, Henry, back to you. Oh, thank you, Anthony. So, both you drivers there giving their thoughts at the end of that one, first and third. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're now here at the fourth round championship presentation for the Mini X30 British Kart Championships here at Mansell Raceway in Dunkerswell. First of all, welcoming up onto the podium, finishing in eighth place overall as the top rookie in the final, it's Joseph Rippin. So Joseph again takes another top rookie ch uh, championship trophy and he's looking good for top rookie honours as well in the overall series with two rounds to go. But now we get to the top three. The final was an absolutely fantastic affair, I have to say. All three of these drivers did exceptionally well, finishing in third place overall after a great last lap effort. It's our GP plate winner, Ethan Simmons. So Ethan takes his third step on the podium. But once again, the two teammates finish as the top two drivers in the final, finishing in second place by just six tenths of a second, it's Leo Robinson. But the winner of the fourth round of the Motorsport UK British Kart Championship in Mini X30, it's his fourth win out of four finals, Vinny Phillips. So Vinny gets his uh, trophy. Well, Vinny, every single race in Mini X30, you have got challenges, mainly from Leo, from Gabriel, from Ethan as well. But in every single final, somehow you find a way to win. Tell us how you did this one. Yeah, we um, got into the second place at the start and pushed Leo for as much as we could. Ethan stayed with us um, for the whole race. And then I went for the move like halfway through the race and then Leo um, pushed me and Ethan stayed in third. And then I started to use my head like at 20 seconds to go. And so I started defending and then um, I saw Ethan manage to get up the inside of Leo and then I managed to, like, I could calm down and then go for the finish. Now, even though you've won all four finals, you can't relax, can you? You've got two rounds to go in the championship and there's the four final wins doesn't guarantee that you're going to win the title because the competition is so strong. What are your thoughts heading into the last two races? Yeah, I just got to try and get a clean sweep, I hope, for the British champs and hopefully get on number one. Excellent, congratulations. So well done, there is your Mini X30 podium. We're gonna have the official photographers, uh, Chris Walker, take the shots. And well done to Vinny, to Leo, to Ethan, and to Joe Rippin, our top rookie. That was the podium presentation for round four of the Mini X30 British Kart Championships.